Welcome back to the Stock Labs Help Desk. This episode will be a full intro and walkthrough of the platform and features, where to find them and how to use them. Since it's a little long, timestamps are in the description where you can jump to different chapters if you're looking for a specific topic or search elsewhere on the channel to find a dedicated video to the topic you're looking for. The first page we land on is our dashboard. Um, this just has very general information. You can find the tech fundamental hybrid scores of the market, uh, the current breadth reading and large cap stocks rated bullish. Clicking any one of them shows you a chart of the past two and a half or three months of data points for each one. You have a chart of the intraday chart a spy up in the top left you can cycle through different time frames just to get a glance at that and down below you have some user specific menus you can jump directly to any one of your portfolios or portfolios you're following same for watch lists next we'll go to the market overview tab this page has a lot of overall information that's good for you to get a top-down view of the market and how it's acting that day and has acted over time. So our live floor page here, across the top, we have some custom indices for Stock Labs that are based on market cap. Stock Labs pennies is 150 stocks under $250 million market cap. Small caps are 250 stocks under a billion. Mega caps and terra caps each have 50 stocks. Mega caps are up to 100 billion, and terra caps are over 150 billion. You can click on any one of the indices to check out the constituents, or you can view the chart of the trend as well as the data points in the table below for each day. Across the middle pane, of the live floor page, we have the current market readings generated by Stock Labs. These fluctuate throughout the day, and depending on the close, <clears throat> it's possible to get an overbought or oversold signal for the market on that day. The chart on the middle right shows the closing data points for either hybrid or tech score for each day in the time frame that you choose. And the toggle on the right shows the, or lets you change the sample period for which Stock Labs is using to determine the thresholds that signal an overbought or oversold trigger. If we get an overbought or oversold signal, we can view the statistics for that signal on the intelligence tab and then clicking to overbought, oversold. Change the settings for the signal you're looking at in the top right. For instance, a six month oversold signal with a one year back test. This has produced four winning cycles in the last one year. Same for the hybrid signal is not too different. Um, these usually don't, these usually trigger around the same time, if not the same day. If we want statistics for days that the market isn't overbought or oversold, we can click on the real time intelligence tab. This will backtest market scores that are similar to the current market score that we have. The granularity toggle in the top right adjust the tolerance that Stock Labs uses in determining which scores it tests compared to the current one. So for instance, on the default one-tenth score, right now Stock Labs is testing scores 2.25 to 2.45, and those are all included in the, the table of statistics below. You can backtest time periods three months, 
to 10 years or all of them at once. So back to the live floor page, just to draw a comparison between overbought, oversold. Overbought, oversold will trigger once we're above or below any of these, either of these thresholds. Real-time intelligence can give us statistics on any one of these points between the bands as well. Scrolling down through the middle of the page, we have aggregated market stats. A lot of these are fundamental stats, revenues, earnings, price to earnings ratios, etc. Scrolling over, we get some more technical stats. Um, number above 50 and 200 day moving averages, 52 week highs, 52 week lows, etc. Below that in the sectors table, this breaks the market up into eight sections. And we can see relative performance of those sectors for the day. You can sort columns by just clicking the clicking whichever heading. So for instance, today services are doing the best healthcare is struggling. Below that are the custom indices unique to stock labs. These are built by the fly as needed whenever a new theme emerges in the market that should be tracked. The algo tab shows the overbought oversold readings across the top as well and shows a slider which marks how close or how far we are from either of the readings. You can also see a table below that has the over oversold or overbought readings marked in the data as well as the readings for each signal tabulated in a list. You can also in the top right click the chart view. This will bring up the same chart from the live floor that you can cycle through on different time frames to view the data. Stock Labs has 28 to 29 years of seasonality built into it. Right now we're in May, so a pretty average month. We're coming off April, which stuck to this trend as being a strong month. And then you can see that we're coming into a bit of the summer doldrums. Financials tab shows aggregated data for the market on a fundamental basis. You can see in the current quarter, it shows how many companies have reported earnings so far and have contributed to the current data series. As companies report, data is added to the chart. The earnings tab shows you an earnings calendar. You can click on a day and see which stocks are reporting that day. The intelligence screener this applies the intelligence algorithm that I outlined for the overall market, except to individual stocks. And it finds the best ones based on their current intelligence score. To use this, change some of the headings to more useful numbers. For instance, we want more than one data point to appear in the sample size. So for example, We want at least five readings and we want the win rate to be over 65%, for example. So currently these stocks have at least five data points with a win rate over 65%. And right now they're ranked by their expected five day return or their previous, the average of the previous five day returns. We have the same option to 
look at stocks on an individual basis on overbought, oversold. We can change our headings at the top for whichever time frame and whichever criteria we'd like to look at. And then in the same way, we should change our columns to include a more useful sample size. So these stocks right now are currently oversold and they're ranked by their best expected forward returns. So in the same way that we looked on the live floor and we could see this chart of thresholds and overbought, oversold signals, every individual stock has the same calculations run on it. And we can look at them in the same way. So again, if we go to oversold, and I go back to the criteria that I had, Now, if I click on this stock, and go to the algo page, I can click on the chart form and see the same view. So you can see the oversold signals are marked. Every individual stock has this available to it. They'll be different than the overall market, depending on how the stock behaves on its own. Down further, we have the Newswire. This is curated by the fly to include the most useful financial news outlets. It'll update live throughout the day. You can keep it on a separate monitor if you like having the news right in front of you at all times. Or down below, there's an arrow that'll keep a condensed view of the news wire at the bottom of your page, no matter where you navigate in Stock Labs. Moving to the industries page, the industries page shows relative performance of the sectors that were on the market overview tab. Up in the top is a menu of different timeframes that you can use to make comparisons. And down below shows all the subsectors that comprise all of these industries. For instance, if we click on application software, we can look at the algo tab and this algo tab also shows a overbought, oversold chart for the industry as a whole or the sector as a whole. In the same way, we can look at intelligence for the sector as a whole to determine if it is close to a low or a high or truly overbought or oversold based on its prior performance. Screener is a very robust tool in Stock Labs. You'll probably use it the most throughout the day to find trades or identify trends across different timeframes. The default menu here has some set columns. If you just want to jump to a ready-made screen, click on quick screens, and these are all built by the fly. And they're all ones that he uses on a day-to-day -day basis to find his own trades. 
To make your own screen, click on the plus button in the top right. You can remove some of the default columns. And now you're starting new. And then you can get to work making your own, making your own screen. So for instance, if we go back into the add fields window, let's say I wanted stock labs, tech score, a sharp ratio and a to modify a column click it and select the criteria you want included so for this stocks over a billion market cap and I want sharp ratios above one and within 5% of 52 week highs. And now I'll also sort this screen by technical score. Now that I have my column set in order to save it, I click on the save button. To keep the screen only viewable to you, leave it on private. If you'd like other people to be able to find your screen and save it to their own, mark it as public. Now your screen will appear in your My Screens page. In order to find other people's screens that you'd like to use, click on Community Screens. And now you can find whoever's screen you're looking for, for instance, this one. And now you have the option to add or remo remove columns from this screen as well. And then once you've done that, if you'd like to, you can click the Save button again and go through the same process. And now you've copied someone else's screen to your own My Screens list. So you can get to it quickly. So you can see it's right here. To delete screens, just click on the trash can next to them. And now you know how to make your own screens, save other people's screens, and you have a lot of options to play around with to find what works or what doesn't work and put them to use. Just to go through some other features, On this screen here, I have it built as a volume surge analyzer screen. This volume surge analyzer tool is new for Stock Labs. It's available across different time frames: five minute, fifteen minute, thirty minute, and there is also a one minute option if you'd like that. What this volume surge analyzer does is it compares the current candle volume to the average of the prior 30 intervals of whichever time frame you're looking at and then makes a calculation on how that volume has how that volume differs from that average. So for instance, this screen right now is sorted by 15 minute VSA 
this currently this stock at the top ccxi the current 15 minute candle is trading 660 percent volume over the average of the prior 30 15 minute candles if we were looking at 30 minute vsa it's trading 110 well now 160 percent over the average of the prior 30 30 minute candles and you can see how these screens are shifting as i'm talking that's because they're on this live setting where stock labs is constantly making these recalculations and reordering the screen depending on where those stocks fit in depending on how i have it sorted so anything new that meets the criteria is highlighted in blue and appears on the screen for a certain amount of time. Any stock that was already on the screen and is just moving positions is marked with a green or red arrow. So that sort of shows you how the live functionality works. If I didn't have this on live, I would load the screen. It would give me results and those results would stay fixed. And in order to get new results, I would have to be refreshing the screen constantly on my own to force it to find new things. So another volume tool that's slightly different from the VSA tool is volume delta. And this is a different calculation from volume surge, where volume delta is taking the current day's volume that a stock is trading, it's prorating it out to what the full day's volume would look like, and then comparing that to the average of the prior 30 days. So for instance, if a stock usually trades a million shares a day, and at noon, it's on pace to trade 2 million shares that day, volume delta will read out plus 100% or double the normal volume. I have a dedicated delta screen, volume delta screen. So we can look at that on its own. It only has one stock on it right now. Well, but this is set to a pretty high setting, 200% volume if we drop it down to 100 okay so we get a few more results so these stocks are trading are on pace to trade at least double their average volume they're also well they're within 10 percent of their session high portfolios is a new feature to stock labs you have the option to create your own using this create button up in the top. Just fill out the information, use the description to remind yourself maybe what strategy it is or any other supplemental information you want about the portfolio. Enter the starting balance. Again, you can mark it as private or public. Now that your portfolio is made, you can add some trades. Click the add trade button. It brings up your buy ticket. You can enter a stock. Stock Labs will fetch the live price for you. Add the trade. We can do the same thing a couple more times. Now that we have a couple stocks in here, to close out a trade, your first option is to go back into the add trade button and just fill it out as a sell ticket with the 
with the information of the stock that you are exiting. So we have 100 shares. We're removing 100 shares. Stock Labs tells us the position will be closed. We say, OK. Now it's gone. Alternatively, on the right, there's an X. You can click that, and that also closes the position at market. So that's the quickest way. To delete the portfolio, just go to the edit button next to the trade button and delete it. You can also follow other people's portfolios. This is good if you're mirroring someone's strategy or are curious about their performance, etc. We can look at Fly's holdings. And this is his regular trading account. You can see the holdings are filled out. The breakdown tab shows performance over time. So if we select year to date, pretty good trend, one year, even better. And below there's a table of portfolio values, um, trades in and out, number of trades in and out of the portfolio that for each day and PL, realized PL for the day. The returns tab shows portfolio value by month as well as percentage and dollar returns. You can also view it annually. This is all very new, so the yearly data won't fill, won't be filled out as much currently. The trades tab shows you everything that has come in and out of the portfolio. And the green Bs are buys, the red Ss are sells, and O or a C will be shown depending on if the position is open or closed. Once a position's closed, the PL for the trade itself will be printed straight into the table. So portfolios is a good, um, good feature to use to track your performance across different, um, different timeframes and strategies. Again, if you want to follow someone else's portfolio, you can go into community and you can search for portfolios either by name or shifting through these columns. And then to follow one, just click on the portfolio. And there's a follow button in the top right that you click on. And then once you go back to your following tab, that portfolio will appear in the list. Similarly, watch lists have, a, have the same look as far as the tabs across the top. You can make watch lists to track baskets of stocks or um, to stay focused on certain things throughout the day and over time. The same way that you followed a um, community portfolio, you can follow a community watch list. Currently, I'm not following anybody else's watch list. Um, but if I go to any one of them, click follow. Go back. Now I'm following it. Screener search is also a new feature to Stock Labs. And this lets us search through company profiles, news, or mentions in the Pelican Room chat room of a stock based on a keyword or combination of keywords. 
So when a new theme emerges in the market and there's a lot of news coming out regarding it with companies either getting involved or saying that they have an interest in it, we can lock in on that with a particular keyword and using our time frame toggle. Now this screen is showing stocks that have been mentioned in the news with NFTs in the past week and or it, or they have NFT in their company profile. Now as this if there was a theme that was very new notice we have this screen on a live setting so if something is put out in the news stock labs will have scraped through scraped through and found the stock associated with that news and printed it straight into our window here i think the chat room a lot of people are familiar with it's a good time it's pretty rambunctious at times um, we have Fly's Fish Market on the right. This is where his most recent stock picks get populated. The trending tickers menu shows stocks that have been searched for in Stock Labs or mentioned in the chat room the most over the last three hours. So that's all I've got as far as an intro to all of the major features of Stock Labs so far. If you guys have any questions, my contact information I'll leave in the description below, or you can contact me in the chat if you are already in Stock Labs. Again, try a lot of this stuff out, see what works, see what doesn't work for you, and hope you guys have fun with it. See ya.